Hello, my name is Andy Boone. I am the author of the new course book by Macmillan called Research and Write. Research and Write provides low intermediate to intermediate learners of English with basic research and writing skills at the paragraph and short essay level. And in this presentation, I'm going to tell you all about the book. Each unit of research and write has a three-step approach in which students first collect data, then they analyze the data, and then finally they write up their findings. The first six units introduce students to primary data collection skills and also writing at the paragraph level. So for example, unit one introduces students to questionnaires, making questionnaires, conducting the questionnaires, analyzing the results, and writing up. Unit 2 then switches to focus on topic sentences of paragraphs. However, students still keep practicing making questionnaires in this unit. Unit 3 then looks at conducting effective interviews, making questions, finding people to interview, recording interview data, analyzing and writing up. Unit 4 then switches to supporting sentences of paragraphs. However, students still practice interviews to get the data um, for the material to write up their paragraph. And then Unit 5 looks at observation as a primary data collection tool. Students do observations, they make field notes, um, they analyze their results and write up. And then Unit 6 looks at concluding sentences of paragraphs. Here students once again practice observations. So in this way Unit 1 and 2, Unit 3 and 4, Unit 5 and 6 complement each other. In the second part of the book, the students look at secondary data collection skills and also essay writing. Unit 7 focuses on how to write an essay. Unit 8 looks at how to find secondary data and how to take notes from secondary data. Unit 9 then looks at citing and referencing from secondary data. And Unit 10 looks at paraphrasing and summarizing other people's work. Um, unit 11 then looks at the argumentative essay, the argumentative essay being a very popular essay style question on such tests as IELTS. Um, then unit 12, students go back through the book and do various review activities from unit 1 all the way through unit 11. Each unit contains examples and model answers which provide important scaffolding for students. Students are also encouraged to buy a notebook to take research notes in, to do their writing in, and this is something that the teacher might want to take in at the end of the course and assess. Um, students are also encouraged throughout the book to use technology. For example, they may want to use SurveyMonkey for their questionnaires, they may want to search for secondary data using their smartphones and they may also want to use the video camera or voice recorder function of their smartphone when interviewing. At the end of each unit there are writing activities for students to do. But rather than just write for the teacher, they're writing for each other because students are encouraged to read each other's writing and to leave a comment uh, about what they liked about the paragraph or what they liked about the essay. Each unit ends with suggestions for assignments. The assignments are there to help students practice the skills that they've learned, the primary data collection skills or the secondary data collection skills, and also to get more exposure to writing. And here is the contents page for you to take a look at. You'll probably notice that each unit is eight pages long. Okay, so let me give you a walkthrough of unit one. And by the way, this unit is available as a sample unit download on the Macmillan website. So task one, students mind map their school they're asked to brainstorm places at their school, for example, they might think of the library, the classroom, the cafeteria, the gym, the English lounge, etc. 
Students then work in pairs to ask each other what they like about these areas at their school. And there is an example brainstorm of the library where students can break down these places into smaller component parts. For example, a library is a place where you borrow books, read magazines, it's a quiet place, you can use the internet, and so on. Then students look at task two, and this introduces students to the types of questions that they could use in their questionnaire. Then over the page, students are provided with a model library questionnaire, and they're asked to match the different question types that they've looked at on page nine to each of the questions, and to discuss what they like or dislike about the questionnaire. Do they think the questions are good questions? What information can they get from these questions? Then, in task three, they're asked to make their own questionnaire about a place at their school. So they can choose one place from the task one mind map, and they make their questionnaire either using SurveyMonkey, if you wish, or there is space in the book for them to make a small questionnaire there. They check their questions with a partner and make any changes that are recommended. In task four, students are then asked to conduct their questionnaire with their classmates. There is space provided in the book for them to take questionnaire notes because it's expected that students won't have a notebook so early on in the course. There are several ways that you can do this. You could photocopy the questionnaires and hand them out for students to answer. The students could go around and ask the questions themselves and take research notes. Or if they're using their smartphones, they could make a questionnaire using SurveyMonkey. Uh, send the link to their classmates to answer on their smartphones and that can all be done on the internet. Task 5 then provides a model analysis of the library questionnaire that was given to the students as an example on page 10. There are some results. They can read for the results and look at the analysis that the researcher has done and the results that he or she has found. For example, Dividing into categories of positive and negative, the researcher here has found that the library is a quiet place, it's a good place to study, the librarians are helpful, but the negative parts are there aren't enough books, it's not a convenient place, and it's not so comfortable. So students then analyse the results of their questionnaires and share their results with a partner. In task six, students are then given a model paragraph about the questionnaire of the school library, and students complete the gap fill with the missing words from the box, and then they highlight key discourse markers such as first, second, third, and finally. Then they look at their questionnaire results and write up a similar paragraph. They pass their book to a partner who reads their paragraph and comments what they were surprised to find out from their partner's questionnaire results. Unit one then ends with an assignment. The assignment is for the student to go back to task one, go back to their mind map, choose a different place, make a new questionnaire, conduct that with people around the school, analyze their results, um, and then write it up for homework. Well, thank you very much for listening to my presentation on Research and Write. I hope it's given you an idea of what the book is about and some idea about how you could use it with your students. So what can you do now? Well, you could talk to your local Macmillan rep and request a sample by email or phone. And you can also request a sample by going on to the Macmillan website and there you'll find some more information about Research and Write. And you can also download Unit 1 as a sample. Uh, there is a Facebook group, a Research and Write Facebook group. If you do a search in Facebook, please like the page and there you can leave comments as well. And the teacher's book will be available soon as a free download that has all the answers and suggestions about how to teach Research and Write. Thank you very much.